Assalamu alaikum. The news reports that are coming out about this game are crazy. Yeah, you heard. I said crazy with a W. Now, as Muslims, we take lessons from whatever we see, even if it's Grand Theft Auto 5. Depending on when you guys see this video, Grand Theft Auto was just released a few days ago. It's been promoted everywhere. On buses, on YouTube, on newspapers, news stations, magazines, forums, amongst friends, you name it, it's been promoted there. But as a practicing Muslim, what can we take from it? The shooting, the crashing, the joyriding, running people over, the killing. Mm, no. I want to focus more on people's behavior and reactions to its release. Oh my Allah. It's out, yes. Calm down, man. It's just a game. I finally got my copy. I'd like to thank my mother who has supported me in these endeavors. I'd like to thank my family and friends who have been with me every step of the way. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. On its release in the UK, the stores opened at midnight. Midnight! People were queuing up for hours just to be amongst the first to buy the game. The first one in East London, lo and behold, was a Muslim. So much loyalty and dedication to a game. I saw this one clip where a guy completed the whole game in 50 hours and he was talking about his diet plan. Have a lot of protein food and because you're going to be feeling a bit of indigestion, have a few fiber tablets as well. The guy's prescribing pills to play a game. He actually said that he took a week of work so that he could give his full attention to finishing off the game. And if we apply this to us, you know, many of us are too afraid to ask our boss for time off during Ramadan. 50, 52, 53 hours to complete a game as soon as it comes out. Yet when an Islamic book comes out, it might be a small little paperback, but yet it takes us like a year to finish it. Why? Because that same dedication that we have for a game, we're not matching it with our books. I also saw a report where a guy actually stabbed someone to get his copy of GTA 5 of him. Stabbed him! Apparently Rockstar spent 170 million pounds on just making this game. And with this game, they're setting standards in creativity where we just go around killing people. Die! 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 I win! And experts say this game is set to make a billion pounds in its first year. So we should ask ourselves, how much effort do we actually put into Dawah? I mean, these guys just have a game. We have a way of life. We've got the book of Allah. There's actually a review of a guy. He said, so many people are focused on completing the game. They don't stop to see the brilliance of the landscape. This is how we go about our own lives as well. We're so focused on reaching a specific place, whether it's to get a job or to get married or finish our education, that we fail to just stop and just take in the creation of Allah. Yes, he's dead. Until next time, Salamu Alaikum. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's a big giant subscribe button right underneath this video. You can click it and you'll be able to subscribe. And here are the previous videos on my right and on the left. Don't forget to check them out as well. Don't forget, smile to Jannah. <laughs> no, that was a laughter. Wait, let me do that again. Don't forget, smile to Jannah.